What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Okay, <laughs> making their debut on the channel tonight. Tonight! We have the Bee Gees. Yes, indeed, how about that? The Bee Gees making their debut on the channel. You kidding me? Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity boobity bop, do me a favor before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Frode Apeland and Frode wanted to see me react to this song by by Bee Gees called Mr. Natural. I can't believe you've done this. Now, have I heard the song before? Um, it doesn't sound familiar. I, I, I'm gonna go on a limb and I'm gonna say I haven't. Uh, this is not resonating with me. And I, I know I've heard some Bee Gees songs in my life that were not staying alive. <laughs> They had other songs besides that one, folks. I promise you, they did. Um, but no, to the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me at all. Having said that, there is a possibility I may have heard this song in passing, and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second, oh, are you kidding me? I do recognize this song. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This was posted by Bee Gees Mexico, okay? And the video has 88,000 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. 1974 PGs, Mr. Natural, complete and good sound. Yeah, we'll see about that. Never thought I would see the day where we had BGs on the channel. Never thought I would see that day come, but yet here we are. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this.
Oh boy. Uh, for anybody out there who had this impression that I was gonna love this and you know, oh, this is this is right up his alley. Boy, you clearly don't know me very well. Uh, this is absolutely not my cup of tea. <laughs> it's just not. I am not having a good time. I am not enjoying myself. I cannot wait for this to be over. <laughs> I really can't. Oh, man. <sighs> and here's the thing. It's not that they're doing anything wrong. It's not that they're doing anything bad. Quite the contrary. They sound really good, man. They they do. The song sounds really good. It does. It's just, good lord, I would never, on my own, I would never listen to this in a million years. Never. This is, there is absolutely no way that this is ever going on a playlist. I'm sorry. It's just not. Uh, like I said, though, they're not doing anything bad. Nothing sounds terrible. Nothing sounds out of place. Nothing sounds horrible. Everything across the board sounds really good. Except the vocals. The vocals sound great. The harmonies, in particular, sound great. But I'm just not a fan. I am absolutely not a fan. Uh... Let's keep going here. Oh man. When I think I'm getting get over an old friend I should see. He said he knew you well, and baby I could tell. You know he knew you more than me. I went home laughing, and inside I'm crying. We had a special thing. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, 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 yeah. I'll see you in the review and uh yeah, we'll we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Beachies with Mr. Natural. This was a request from Frode Apeland. Never thought I'd see the day that we had Beachies on the channel. Never thought that would ever happen in a million years. Did not see that coming from a mile away. And yet, here we are. We listened to it, we heard it, and the thing is, I, I went in with an open mind. I did, I'm like, let's see how this goes. And it went pretty much exactly how I had a feeling it was going to go. Um, yeah, this was not enjoyable for me. It, it just wasn't, guys. I'm sorry. 
No disrespect to the Bee Gees intended at all. It's just personal taste, guys. Uh, I did not enjoy this. I did not like listening to it. Uh, it is not my cup of tea. It is not up my alley in any way, shape, or form. And there's no way in hell that this song is ever going to end up on any playlist that I have. Having said that, on a scale of 1 to 10, believe it or not, I'm going to give that an 8.2. Yep, 8.2. I feel good about that score. I know a lot of people are going, what? <laughs> he just said he didn't like it. He just said he didn't enjoy it. He just said it was painful to listen to. He just said that it would never go on a playlist. How can he possibly give this an 8.2? Dude, I don't get it. I don't get it either. Let me tell you why. Why? Despite my own personal tastes, despite my own personal feelings about the song, looking at the song objectively, there is absolutely no denying that this is a great song. Very well written, very well constructed, very well thought out, very well arranged. Everything sounded like it belonged, everything belonged in its place, and everything sounded smooth and coherent across the board. There was not one thing in this song that stuck out like a sore thumb. But I'm not even talking about vocals. We're, we're gonna get to vocals in a little bit. I am talking strictly about the songwriting, the arranging, and the instrumentation. It's all I'm talking about right now. Really good job across the board from everybody involved in the writing of this song, the arranging of the song, and the performance of the song. Gotta give credit where credit's due, man, I do. And, and listen, I pride myself on being as objective as I can possibly be, and just because I don't necessarily like a song does not mean that it's gonna get a bad score. You know, I, I've said this before in the past, guys, I don't have to like a song to give it a good score. At the same time, I don't have to hate a song to give it a bad score. I can listen to a song, I may not personally enjoy it, and it'll be up in the sevens and eights. Then again, there have been a lot of times where I've really enjoyed a song. I really enjoyed a song, and it's down the sixes, because that's where it honestly belongs, is down the sixes or maybe even the fives. I got no problem doing that. I really don't, and this is one of those cases. On it, without the vocals, without vocals, I would seriously give this like about a 7.7, 7.6, 7.7, somewhere in there, without vocals. Now, Bee Gees are known and respected around the world for their vocals and their vocal talent and their vocal ability. And I agree with that. I absolutely do. I don't necessarily like it, but there is no denying the vocal talent and the vocal ability that came out of Bee Gees. I mean, there really isn't. Listen to those harmonies. Seriously, listen to those harmonies. How tight are those harmonies? How in tune are those harmonies? How well constructed are those harmonies? And we're not talking about two-part harmonies. We're talking about three-part harmonies. Not easy to do. And every single harmony was right on point and folks what a lot of people don't understand is this everybody goes well that's not that hard to do these days we have pro tools that's super easy you can pitch shift you can pitch correct you can you can layer and you you can do all this stuff you can auto tune and all the stuff guys in the 70s pro tools didn't exist <laughs> you had to go in there and you had to actually sing in key oh my gosh what a concept! Have vocalists that actually know how to sing and sing in key with each other with good blend and right on pitch? You mean you had singers back in the 70s that actually had talent and could sing in a in a recording studio without the assistance of Auto-Tune and Pro Tools? You better believe it. And this is why I hear a lot of people say and I'm not disagreeing with these people that the artists of the 60s and 70s and 80s are always going to have a superior performance in general. 
in general across the board than singers and, and performers of the 90s, 2000s, 2010s, 2020s, and beyond. And I understand their point of view, and to some extent, I agree with them. Because these vocalists in the 60s and 70s and 80s had to go into, this, into the recording studio, and they had to lay it down. They had to lay it down in tune, in key, with support, with power, with diction, with valve formation, everything. They had to do it all, and they had to do it in one shot. And if it wasn't done in one shot, guess what? We got to do it all over again. Oh, dear Lord. Let's go back even further. Let's go back to the 50s and even into the 40s when they literally had to heat up discs of hot wax, put it on the spinner, put down the needle, and strike up the band, boys. One, two, three, four. And the band had to play. Singer had to sing. And they had literally the entire group one chance. And if there was something out, stop, new disc, heat it up, put it on the spinner, drop the needle, a one, two, three, four, and we're off and running again. That was even tougher. You know, at least in the 70s, we had reel to reel and they could punch in. They could. Uh, wasn't always easy, wasn't always accurate, but they, they had to, they had to do what they had to do. So I give a lot of respect to these early recording artists because they had to get it right in studio. You couldn't do it in post. You couldn't do it in Pro Tools. There was no Pro Tools. So yeah, you got to give a lot of respect to the Bee Gees for their vocal ability and their vocal talent. And it was shown here in this song. Every harmony sounded good. Every harmony sounded full. Every harmony blended really well together uh, from a dynamic standpoint, from a pitch standpoint, and from a tone standpoint. They knocked it out of the park. So yeah, you gotta give them respect for that. And that is how we came up all the way up to an 8.2. I feel good with that score. Like I said, I don't like the song. <laughs> I will never listen to the song ever again if I could possibly help it. I will do everything I can to avoid the song because I did not enjoy listening to it. But having said that, there is absolutely no denying that this is a great song. If you look at the song objectively, which is how I'm coming up with that 8.2. I feel good with that score, and that's where we're going to stay. So, 8.2, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hope that I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.